So, do you want to show them how this is done? I do it right now. Yeah, you want to do it right now? <laughs> So these kids are just blowing off a lot of steam right now. It was a rainy, a cold, cold, rainy day at school. When you've been used to spring break and doing what you want, and then you go back into school and you're sitting there and you can't go outside and play, it's hard. Bathroom, the best place to be, right? Good place to be. Okay. Oh, Abigail wants up. <clears throat> there we go. Hi. <laughs> Do you see yourself? Evelyn, can you see So, Evelyn, we're going to the orthodontist tomorrow. Okay. Will you give me a nice smile, please? Yes. And um. So she is doing her um, phase one um, of, her, of her orthodontics. No, phase two. Well, we're phase, in phase one right now. Phase one was um, spacers. Phase two is bracket and phase three is braces. Okay, well, it's a, it's a little bit different. We're, we're paying right now for phase one. This all is all included in phase one according to them. So it started, so the first thing you had done was what? Spacers. And now I'm on bracket. Mm -hmm. And I've done like, I think, I don't know, like six weeks? Okay, six yeah. Weeks. I think it's probably been a couple months now, actually. Um, so you had the, so they put spacers in. What were the spacers like? They were little tiny blue rubber bands. Oh. Yeah, and they put them in between your teeth? Mm-hmm. Which yeah. doesn't hurt at all. They just take a wishbone. They spread it apart and then they pop it in your between mm -hmm. your molars. Mm -hmm. And so what? So it didn't hurt at all. No. Just a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, so that that was in there for what, like a week or so? Two yeah. weeks. About a couple of weeks. And then um, and they even kind of popped out near the end, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we're like, oh great, we have to have them put back in and again. And yeah. Why would I got there? I said, I asked if um. I'm going to need more spacers, but they said, no, actually, today we're, we're going to need your bracket in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, so they took those out, and then they put what in? Was it they put the... They, so first, they took all the they took all the spacers out, which they, mostly all of them popped out, but anyways. They, first, what they did was they took the spacers out. I had a couple left in still. And then... um. They put the metal bands in then. They put the metal ones in. Okay. Yeah, those those metal bands. Yeah, they, they put the bottom metal bands in. And then they put the bracket in, which has metal bands attached to it to go on your top, your upper part of your mouth. And then they glue it with where the special those, glue. Where did those metal bands go around which teeth? On um, your back molars. On the back molars, yeah. And then, um, so they did that. And then they, did they put the palate expander in at the same time? No, they they did the bottom metal bands first for your back molars, and then then they they um went to the 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 other doctor to get the palate expander, and then they brought it back, and it was like on the mold that they took for my top mm -hmm. thing, and then it was like laying in there. And then they popped it in there with this special tool okay. to make it stay. Yeah. And then they added a special glue, and it's not real glue. It's a special glue for to make um, it stay up there. And yeah. I didn't have to wait long because it was this machine that made it like hard, the glue hard enough. Yeah. And it re they really they had a hard time getting those 
um, I remember they them having a hard time getting those bands around your molars. Didn't yeah, they, they, they had, had to tell, work it they, a lot. They um, I had like three different um doctors or specialists try to get it in there. Yeah, they were they had to work it, but they finally got it in thankfully. Um. So she has a, a palate expander, and why did you need the palate expander? Because um, these two teeth right here were like crammed back behind other teeth, mm -hmm. and these two are like squeezed together. Yeah. But first, how it started out was it made it made space between here, between my two mm -hmm. front teeth, and then it closed back together to make room for these ones. So now these ones have space. Yeah. And they didn't have space before. Right. So yeah, so she had a lot of crowding and she had what was called a narrow palate where um, it's just, you know, it's, I don't know. Okay, squeezed so. In there. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, um, yeah, squeezed in. And so they are pretty much, daily we've had to, we use a key, which Abigail's holding right here. This little thing right here. And that little thing, you and see it, that middle thing right there? Mm -hmm. It goes into, there's a little hole in my bracket, mm -hmm. and my um, mom or dad at night time sticks it in there, and then it, they push it backwards, and then they mm -hmm. take it out. Yep. So it, it goes in the hole, and then you crank it. And um, so we had to do that, like, every night for a couple weeks, and then mm -hmm. every other night this and then that, And then... Um, last week I visited them and then they said the first week I had to do it like at, every day at night time and then they said the second week I had to do it every other day. Okay. So we're going to go back to them in the, in the morning and they're going to tell us if we need to continue doing more of this or not. But then once it's sufficiently widened then I think they leave it for maybe a couple weeks and let it just kind of set like jello. <laughs> and um, then they take it out and put um, well I think they put your braces she's going to get braces along the top and I think down here um, yeah like but before, I, before I, they put the metal bands on they take the back out I think if they keep it in there though for those braces because they don't want things to shift um, um, you know Josiah was just coming in <laughs> they don't want things to shift around um but I think they take that out when they take the braces out and stuff like that. So anyhow, um, so do you want to show them how this is done? Uh, do we do it right now? Yeah, you want to do it right now? Uh, I suppose to. Yeah, it's okay. A... Okay, fine. It's okay. So we're gonna show you how to how this is done. So if you need to have a palate expander, I actually had to have one too when I got braces. Mm -hmm. And just so I had to have it. There's probably gonna be some others in our family who need it. Um, but I had it. I had it done too, and I don't. It didn't hurt. It was just a little bit of pressure whenever it was cranked. Did it hurt? Do you think it hurt? No. 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 So she was nervous. It was gonna hurt, but it didn't. Emma, do you have to have braces at some point? Um. Well, my the so every time I go to the orthodontist, they say, um. They need my mouth to grow more for uh -huh. order to get braces first. Gotcha. Like Evelyn's going through like those stages and stuff. It's different for me. Uh, since I'm older, I have to wait till I'm at least 11, I think, until I get actual braces because my mouth needs to grow and it's grown a lot since the last time I went. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I can grow two yep. sizes, I think my mouth will grow. Yep. And Josiah is, he has lost all of his baby teeth now, so I need to get him in to see the orthodontist again for, to see if he needs to continue with phase two. Two. So. How many stages are there? Stage, is it? Like, just two, two phases. Two. They, they, that's I thought there was three phases. Well, we are going to crank this and just show you how it's done. So if you have to have a palate expander at some point, in your life and you're like oh is it gonna hurt or what's it like we're gonna show you how it's done so that you can see so let me turn this camera around and we are going to crank the palette expander okay so here's the palette expander right here and on each side let's see 
you can kind of see there's a band around that back molar, okay, on both sides here. All right, so here's the pellet expander, and you can look right there, and there is the hole, okay? So that's where it's gonna be going. Okay, so we got the little key. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take that, there's the hole. You gotta wiggle it in, okay? And once it's set, we crank it back. Are you ready, Abby? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. It's going back until we can see that hole again, and it comes out, okay? How was that? It felt weird. It felt weird? It feels weird. It feels weird. When they take it out. They take it out. You feel like, you feel like, you feel like they're gonna there, Abigail? You got your baby in the bath? Uh-huh. Baby's taking a bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my okay. it's in there. So, thank you for being willing to show everyone your palette expand on how to crank it. Mom! If you right. ever need help and you want to know how to do it. Yep. Just look You've at had the bye bye. experience of Evelyn. Mom. Share this video. Mom. Abigail. Did you get stuck in the tub? Really? Did you get stuck in the tub? Did you? Mm. You wanna come out? Mm. Are you gonna let are you gonna give baby a bath? Bye bye! Baby! Boy, where are you going? Do you love your baby? Do that, baby. This little one just did not want to um, sleep much today. I had to run an errand this morning and she fell asleep in the car and then she just didn't want to take a nap. This afternoon, she fought it tooth and nail. So she is, can you see the tiredness in her face there? She's just so tired and ready for bed, right? And she just loves mommy's phone, don't you? <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs, get your baby. Let's go.